we have completed various operations of continuous time signals and now we will study different types of continuous time signals in this lecture i will explain what are even signals and what are odd signals based on symmetry of this signal when time is reversed we can classify signals into two types the first one is even signal and the second one is odd signal so when we perform the time reversal and based on symmetry of the obtained signal we can broadly classify signal in these two types i will first explain even signals the signals which remain identical under folding operation are called as even signals so when we perform the folding operation which is also called as time reversal or reflection so when we perform folding time reversal or reflection of the signal and the signal remains same identical means same then we call such signal even signal let's try to understand this in terms of symmetry the signals which are symmetrical or mirror image about the y axis are called as even signals we will prove this statement after some time let's say the original signal is xt and we will perform the time reversal on this signal so the obtained signal is simply x of minus t because we have minus of t in case of time reversal in place of t and according to the definition of even signals x of minus t is equal to xt which is the original signal so this is what we have in case of even signals x of minus t is equal to x of t and this must be true for all the values of time t so we had signal xt and after performing the time reversal we again have the signal xt now we will see few examples of even signals in the first example we have the waveform of signal xt which is triangular like this let's say this is minus a and this is a the amplitude is equal to a when you perform the time reversal you will have x of minus t which is exactly same as x of t when you fold this waveform you will have the same waveform so x of minus t will have the same waveform and this is the example of even signal in second example in second example we have the waveform like this and when we perform the folding we will have the identical waveform so x of minus t will have the same waveform the third example the third example is x of t equal to cos omega t cos omega t is the even signal because when we have when we have minus t in place of t x of minus t x of minus t is equal to cos minus omega t and cos minus theta is equal to cos theta so cos minus omega t is simply equal to cos omega t which is equal to xt so x of minus t is equal to xt so this signal cos omega t is satisfying the condition of the even signals and when we plot the waveform of cos omega t it will look something like this and you can see this waveform is mirror image about the y axis or we can say this waveform is symmetrical about the y axis so in case of even signals we have the symmetrical waveform or mirror image about the y axis in this signal also you can see the waveform is mirror image about the y axis now we will talk about the odd signals the signals which does not remain identical under folding operation are called as odd signals so this condition is not true in case of odd signals x of minus t is not equal to x of t odd signals are anti symmetrical about the y axis now let us try to understand what do we mean by anti symmetrical signals we will perform the time reversal 
of the signal xt and the signal xt is having the waveform like this this axis is the y axis and in case of odd signals we have anti symmetrical waveform about the y axis when we perform the time reversal this means when we try to find out x of minus t we will have the waveform like this and this waveform represents minus x t or we can write x of t is equal to minus x minus t so this is the condition for odd signals and if we talk about time t equal to 0 when time t is equal to 0 x of 0 is equal to minus x minus 0 from here we have x of 0 equal to minus x minus 0 minus 0 is 0 so x of 0 is equal to minus x 0 and this is possible only when x of 0 is equal to 0 therefore an odd signal must be 0 at time t equal to 0 this is the most important property of the odd signals when time t is equal to 0 the odd signal must be 0 the average or the mean or the DC value of any odd signal is equal to 0 we are talking about few properties of odd signals the first property is when time t is equal to 0 the odd signal the odd signal is equal to 0 the second property is the DC value or the mean or the average of any odd signal is equal to 0 the average the mean or the DC value of any odd signal of any odd signal is equal to 0 and the odd signal will always pass through the origin from first property we can clearly see when time t is equal to 0 the odd signal is equal to 0 this means an odd signal will always pass through the origin this signal also passes through the origin and if we talk about the sine omega t which is odd signal sine omega t and if we try to find out x of minus t we will have minus sine omega t because sine minus theta is equal to minus sine theta and we have we have x of minus t equal to minus x t which is satisfying the property of odd signal so sine omega t is an odd signal and if we plot the waveform of sine function it will look like this so you can clearly see the sine function which is an odd function is passing through the origin this waveform is for sine omega t now we will move to the next property any signal can be represented as sum of odd and even signals if we have a general signal let's say this signal is equal to xt and this general signal can be represented as sum of odd and even paths let's say x subscript e is the even component of the signal xt plus x subscript o is the odd component of the signal xt and when we add the even component and the odd component of the signal xt it is equal to signal xt we will discuss this property in the next lecture when we will find out even component and the odd component of the signal so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one